One thing about the most to this is that uh, the weight is a lot lighter, so you don't get your trike falling backwards. Yeah, it's it doesn't fall backward. All right, first flight with a booster. We're up. Well, the first thing I can tell about the poster is it's a little bit louder. Even better, I have the volume turned up so loud that I can hear it. Weight-wise, I think my uh, strike is centered pretty good. Since we're still in the break-in period, we're going to kind of fly around this area here just to uh, check it out and then land and fill it up with some more fuel or burn out all the fuel that uh, that uh, is required for the break-in. It did seem like I had a lot more thrust because when I came out of there I really got some I really had some lift, so that was pretty good. Now, one thing that I'm going to get a little bit used to, and that's uh, with the prop, is it a continuous prop? It's on a, it's on a clutch. So when I get close to the ground and I need to uh, add some power, I need to realize that uh, that's a little different. All right, turn down the volume a little bit. That helps in my headset. Fifty seven hundred RPM. Starting it was a little different for me, so I'm going to have to figure that out. But I've got an electric starter. As soon as the battery shows up tomorrow, I'll hook up the uh, electric starter, and that'll help out a lot. If that breaks, of course. David's up. Is good. So probably a lot of you are asking me why am I going to a poster 185 dual start and getting away from my monster. Well, the best thing to say is to go back through my videos and see some of the issues that I had. And those are issues that I guess a lot of people have, and I expect to probably have issues with this unit. But at least I'll be able to get parts, and uh, you know, I don't think they're going to drive the parts up since there's many uh, dealers, so there's just one dealer that you can get these parts for. So I'll be able to get parts a little easier, I hope. And uh, the uh, there's a, a large community of Vitarazzi uh, uh, flyers. So when something uh, breaks or something happens, you can you have a good source of going to somebody, uh, which is good. And then the monster community, it's pretty limited. And even having a trainer that trains you on the monster, pretty uh, 
there's not a whole lot of feedback from that area, you know, when it comes to problems with your unit and so forth, because uh, the person that I bought my unit from that I trained with, uh, he's never had a problem with his unit. So if you don't have a problem with your unit and it, and it runs all the time really well, then you don't deal with those problems. So, uh, and I think he's had his unit for years and years and never had a problem with it. So, I've had mine for seven years and I've had many problems along with uh, many of the people that, uh, that have other monsters, they've had issues as well. So, I'm not bad mouth at the monster. It's a, uh, it's a good unit, you know, I like it, uh, but uh, it was time to make a change and uh, do something a little bit different. And I, you know, I may regret going to the poster, I hope not. Got some people out here picking pumpkins, I think they're just doing it with their kids. I might have to find me a pumpkin and take it for a flight. Yeah, it's got some good thrust on it, shouldn't it? Been flying for about eight minutes. Keep an eye on my fuel. Well, let's see if we could. It's a little windy right now, and it's not. Uh, it's not butter, but let's see if we could do a uh, a low pass over here on the runway. See what it feels like with the prop being on a clutch, and if it's a little different here. Just being used to the sensitivity of the throttle. You know, we don't want to try anything too crazy here, but. It's a little, little bumpy down here. There the wind sockets picked up a little bit. So we'll just kind of want to be a little careful here. Yeah, the uh, little wind sock is straight out now, so. Just trying to be variable on the uh, break in here, uh, not staying on one RPM for a constant here, just kind of switch it up and, up and down a little bit. Been flying for about 10 minutes. And there's a lot of people that complain about it being up there and they hit it with their thumb, but coming from the uh, monster, the throttle had the fuel button on top, so I'm pretty familiar with it being there and feel comfortable with this one. It's running pretty good. It's a little bumpy out here. It's all cloudy today. Got a little bit of wind here and there. We got the winds from uh, coming off the east coast. Uh, for the hurricane that's moving up there. We're supposed to get rain. So today's uh, maybe our only chance. We might get one more day. But it's just kind of a hazy overcast.
the throttle on this unit has the uh, kill switch on top. A uh, hunter strobe, if you're watching. Uh, I sure could use a new decal or a sticker. But if it falls off and I don't hear from you, if anybody else has got a sticker they want to put on here, 20 minutes flying, and, uh, and I haven't done the uh, burn rate on this unit on a gas tank, so need to do that. Yeah, it's got plenty of lift, plenty of thrust. Yeah, the wind's a little tricky here. Okay, first flight on a, the Moster, on the ground, 25 minutes. 